Hey, so before the video starts, I just want to say something real quickly. So this video was originally supposed to come out like a week ago, but unfortunately, I kind of forgot to upload it. Yeah, that's all there was. Literally today, I was getting ready to record the next One Piece chapter review, and I was like, oh crap, I forgot to upload this video. So uh, yeah, that's all I needed to say, all I needed to do. So uh, yeah. Let's get on to the actual chapter review video itself or something. Time for One Piece chapter review. Oh, you thought I was just going to do one One Piece chapter review and wait like three to six months to do another one? Nah, I'm ready and I'm back to do those weekly One Piece chapter reviews when Oda or decides to drop them. But yeah. I'm back for this time and ready for this time, One Piece chapter 1091. Let's get into it. Well, actually, before I get into the chapter review, I do specifically want to mention on the camera quality here. So, yeah, I'm still with my webcam, just like with the last video. Unfortunately, I didn't realize while saying this through OBS, I accidentally put the recording at like what 480 or something like that but yeah now everything's set up so it's you know 180p which i think it's probably i don't know if this is the highest this camera can go but uh i do know that's at least the highest quality uh my screen is it's uh you, you know uh 180p i believe or not, I mean, I, you know, I, I I could be surprised. Like, maybe I find out, oh shit, my freaking uh, screen can go up to 4K. Damn, I should have been watching in 4K a long time ago or, you know, freaking whatever. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's really it. Other than, well, maybe next time I need to mess around with the audio because is it better if I talk like this? Or, uh, or like this over here with the, uh, you know, mic facing me this way. Eh, I thought I'd figure that out uh, probably uh, for the next recording. But yeah, put you back in Ava slash uh, Flareon slash whatever I call you. Let's just get on into the One Piece chapter review. Chapter 1091. And of course, as always... We must start with the cover page here where we got, well, the only way I can describe it, the pizza party, uh, you know, I guess cover page. I mean, I don't know if it's a pizza party. I mean, honestly, you know, actually, I, I like to think of it more love like everyone's eating pizza on like the beach next to, you know, a hot, uh, you know, stone oven and everything hot fresh pizza god that sounds good it's so good actually i don't know if this is coincidence or not but earlier today i ate pizza so mm, very big coincidence actually i didn't even eat it for this chapter review i just felt like having pizza but yeah you know pizza you know you obviously got luffy and actually everyone's just digging out on this pizza well except for Brook and uh actually no no chopper's seeing the pizza uh wait a minute where the, where the hell is frankie where the hell is robin i did did oda completely forget them wait a minute yeah because there's luffy usopp zoro nami chopper brook sanji and jambay oh my god he, he literally is missing Frankie and Robin from the cover page. I mean, you know, I mean, I can't say for sure, but Frankie, you know, speaks to the type of man. I can't turn down a freaking pizza. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Robin enjoys pizza or whatever. But it's just, I, I just can't believe I noticed that. Um, anything else I gotta say about this? Really like uh, what Jim Bay is wearing. Dude, if I, if I ever do get freaking a stone oven and uh, start cooking pizzas and whatever. Dude, I want I want freaking dress like Jimbei. Yeah, everything. Yeah, but uh, other than that, um, P 
Pizzas are awesome. Flamingos are awesome. And I think we should move on to the chapter itself. So, uh, this chapter starts off with basically, you know, mar the Marines getting the full front force of, uh, well, Egghead Island with one side of the pacifistas tacking while the other side they have to deal with the giant uh, sea beast weapons attacking them and everything and also we do get to see a bunch of the vice admirals go up on the offensive against the sea beasts and the pacifistas like uh we do get to see this one vice admiral i'm pretty sure we haven't seen in the series before use steam fist on one of the steam beast and we got doll who is a vice admiral never forget go up at the offensive against the past Fistas and everything and it's pretty clear like here that for this second phase of the battle again in egghead island the marines are going to go up against a uphill battle and we even get to see you know, everyone in the lab will face reacting to this, like Usopp's like, they're flying at the coast! It's the Navy against the Robo Sea Beast, and uh, Vegapunk's like, yeah, right now, since Omaru's leading the Pacifistas in the islands, the fences are utterly impenetrable. And we also do get to see the Pacifista Authority Ladder, which I'm pretty sure it's almost similar, if not the same, as the seraphim one because i'm pretty sure it goes just like this one the authority chip then sent tomorrow then vegapunk and then the five elders i'm pretty sure it's if not almost entirely similar like to that one if i remember correctly but hey who knows i i could be completely wrong in everything and uh, we go back to Uslots being like, isn't that why he showed up to take out Sentomaru? And Nami's um, like, oh yeah, Kizuru Stutsi was right. They sent a vice admiral here. That brings some, uh, oh yeah, then we got uh, Brooke being like, that brings some very unpleasant memories from Saba Odi. And they're five below us. And Vegapunk's like, I'm sorry, said tomorrow. Fighting is too cruel if you ask. I won't blame if you run away. And we just cut straight back to the fight between Kizuru and Sentomaru. And um, Kizuru's right now going up on the offensive. And he's like, hurry up and surrender. If you know you want to, I know you want to, Sentomaru. And he does. Yasuka, yeah, God, I, I knew I was going to mispronounce it, but Yasakana, uh, whatever, Yasakana, sacred jewel! I know I'm mispronouncing it, but yeah, uh, meanwhile, we got Sentomaru running away from the, uh, light bullets, and he's like, sorry, old man, but I made a promise with Straw Hat Luffy, and he picks up his freaking axe, and, uh, Kizu's like, since when you decide to side with pirates? And he's like, I'll take the side of anyone who creates an escape room for the man who saved my life. And then sent tomorrow, you know, slashes, slashes right through, uh, well, Kizuru, but he's able to, you know, go through it with uh, his light. I mean, sent tomorrow should know hockey. Wait. Does Sentomaru no Aki? I actually don't remember that. But I mean, well, I mean, if he does, he, he's doing that invisible hockey. And I mean, the Admiral's got, I mean, especially what we learn later in this chapter, um, the, the Admiral's got to at least know the real or the uh, invisible hockey. So maybe Sentomaru knows that. I, I, I really don't remember if so. But, uh, yeah, somehow, I guess, uh, Kizuru, you know, go, uh, you know, goes through that attack, or wait, maybe he's doing that thing that, uh, where, um, you know, Aokiji, where, you know, even against a hockey attack, he was able to still somehow shift it or something, maybe he's doing something like that, maybe, but, uh, yeah, after that, we jump into... Flashback time with Sentomaru, where uh, apparently, I guess, uh, Kizuru was sent to 
take care of Bears. Obviously, this is when he wasn't a vice admiral or anything, or even, I actually don't know, like, what point in the, in the Marines he was in this, but, uh, yeah, they were like, hey, weren't they asked here to send us to hunt these three bears? Bears and uh, apparently Sentomaru, as a child, just took down three giant bears. And Sentomaru's like, I hate these villagers, they're so weak. I ain't, I ain't going back in there. And he's like, So you got kicked out, kid? Well, I'm tough, but I don't even get hungry. But I still want a job and money. And a Vega Pond, who's also there, is like, Oh. So, is there something you want to buy that money with? And uh, Santa Maru is like, Onigiri! Which, uh, fun fact, that actually is uh, Santa Maru's favorite food. At least so he remembers what he says in the SBSs. And also, sweet potato. I don't know why, but I mm, guess that's an interesting fact. But yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, freaking Kishu's like, <laughs> He's just laughing from this fact, and we shift to present day, and where Kizuru's like, "You were so adorable then." Shift back to flashback mode, and uh, you know we got Vega Punk being like, "So would you like to be my bodyguard? You you're giving me a job, I'll take it." And Sentomaru just goes up to Kizuru. He's like. Uh, so, hey, old man, how am I supposed to protect this punk? Can you tell me? And freaking uh, Kizuru is like, wait, I excuse me, are you are you talking about me? So, yeah, uh, apparently Kizuru taught said tomorrow. And he's like, we jump back to present day again. And he's like, I taught you everything I could, young Sentomaru. And then Sentomaru does Sumo Strike! And then we got <sighs> Kizuru being like, but unfortunately, my defense is just as tough as yours. And finishing this fight with one last uh, laser attack, causing this big explosion, hitting Sentomaru down knocked out for the fight and him you uh, having the authority chip and commanding the pacifistas with the pacifistas no your control tower is unconscious there is a change of plans help the naval battleships sink the sea beast and thus the pacifistas change their plan such a quick short work of events could, you know, quickly help the, you know, the Marines in such quick favor. And we jump to Jay Garcia being like, it's a shame. But if we can only keep one, it should definitely be the passive base does. Okay, give me a report of the damage from the last few minutes. Yes, sir. And then after that, uh, we jump back up to the Labo phase with the... Our crew being like, oh no, Santa Maro is down. And Vegapunk's like, oh no, I, I gotta, take, gotta hurry and take the shield down. But I, I just can't let Santa Maro's sacrifice be in waste. And meanwhile, you know, uh, York being smug, being like, I still ain't telling you, you know, I am a Vegapunk too, after all. And uh, Vegapunk's like, well, but Kizuru is lying himself. He can actually just pass right through the laser barrier. And Usopp's like, wait a minute. You're telling me he's coming here right now? And he's like, but he's like, yes. But he's the guy who totally whooped our butts with us uh, years ago. And, you know, Kizuru just zips all the way up to the Labo phase. Just, you know, completely passing through. And, uh, meanwhile, we got, uh, you know, with, uh, I guess Luffy? Yeah, yeah, Luffy's group at this point, who hears the alarm, and they're like, wait a minute, what the heck is up with this alarm? And I was like, an emergency alarm? There shouldn't be anyone able to get up here. And back, we see Kizuru, you know, reaching the Labo face. He's like, okay, 
Let me just keep a check look of things to keep safe. The power plant? Uh-huh. The uh, punk red guards? Okay. York, who is actually uh, a friend slash allies of our... Okay, okay, okay. Now for the checklist to be eliminated. Dr. Vega Punk. And then they're like, uh, Kyushu has finally made it inside the dome. And they mentioned, oh no, Luffy's group is right out of front. You know, they're the first ones that uh, Kizuru will be seeing. And they're like, well, with the barrier down, they're not able to go down and move the ship into the first place. And then Sutsi uh, immediately notices, uh, you know, that uh, Luchi's little bird. Actually, I always forget the, the bird's name, but... Uh, she notices the bird moving around and, uh, well, Luchi goes in for the kill for Dr. Vega Punk. But unfortunately, Stutzi blocks the attack out of the way and just instantly one hit killing her. Or, well, knowing Oda, one hit knocking her out. And, and, and Stutzi immediately goes out. And just as quickly... Uh, freaking Sanji, as response to this, just takes the uh, bubble gum, bubble gun from Nami, which I, I guess she had this entire time or whatever, and immediately just uh, puts Kaku in, inside of a bubble. And he's like, wait a minute, a bubble gun? What gives? And he's like, well, he looks like he left you behind. What? So, uh, yeah, I guess Kaku wasn't a form about this one. I mean, it was kind of apparently clear from last chapter, but yeah, he's currently stuck in a bubble right now. And Zoro goes up the offensive to fight off Luchi. He's like, "Oh, so you got back up and you thought you can make your move, huh?" And Luchi's like, "Between me and Kizaru, you're all dead. Oh hell, you don't think you know us very, very well." And then we jump to Kizaru who is uh looking at you know the straw hat group with the giant robot in their ship and he's like huh no wonder I couldn't see their ship on shore it was all the way up here and they're like oh no what do we do Luffy there's a vice admiral uh Luffy and he just jumps straight off the ship and he's like well, 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 long time no see. And just immediately goes for the attack against Kizaru. And he's like, very bad manners. And he's like, Kizaru, compared to two years, I am a hundred times stronger times now. And thus ends the chapter. So, yeah. Yeah. Do time for a chapter review discussion part whatever, but uh, yeah, yo, this was a this was a pretty good chapter. Yeah, a decent amount of stuff that happened. Obviously, yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty clear that like quickly the tide battle can easily change because at the start of the chapter, I don't know if I would say there were the Marines were particularly struggling, but they they had their stuff cut up for them. But with you know. Kizuru just finally able to take down Setamaro just so quick. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say it's quickly, but maybe in the sense of this chapter, it's kind of quicker. And with that, the tie-up battle completely changes for them with Kizuru just immediately jumping off up to the strato phase. Just, oh my god. It, a lot of things can change quickly. Also... You know, at least nice information that we learn about this flashback and stuff. And, I mean, I, I guess that makes sense. Because if, if Kizaru was the one to uh, to train Sentamaro in his tough defenses, thus Kizaru would have the same tough defenses as well. But, unfortunately, the power of his life through is very destructive. And he, he is an admiral. I mean, you, you can't you can't knock him down for that, and he's a very very powerful opponent. But uh, actually, you know, back to that thing I was saying earlier with the whole thing with uh, Kizaru uh, with Central Maro using the axe, but uh, Kizaru was able, uh, I guess, uh, dodge the attack. I'm trying to think about this, 
And if Central Morrow does have that Rio slash invisible hockey, maybe he's doing that thing. Maybe what he's doing is he's actually transporting his... He's moving at the speed of light, but he's doing it in a way where he's moving fast enough where you, you, you don't notice or something. I don't know. I just... I just think it's like some kind of way just like with Aokiji during the war where even though he was fighting against uh, freaking, you know, goddamn hockey users, he was like, well, I, I was able to move my heart out of the way in my body or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to think about ways that could be possible. I, I don't know. I just feel like Central Mar has to have hockey I'm pretty sure he has hockey. Like, I'm trying to think about it. Because I think he used hockey during pre-time skip. And, I mean, I don't know if he was using hockey, you know, like uh, the return to Sapa Odi uh, arc. I don't remember if he was doing that. I got, I got, you know, re-watch and recollect that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he sent tomorrow has hockey but even so it's it's nothing can fit and compare to the might of the admiral and just that as i said one little attack changed the uh you know tide of war for the marines with the marines you know definitely you know slowly climbing on that uphill battle and uh, this thus ending off with, well, one, uh, unfortunately, Lucci taking out Sturzi pretty quickly. But, to be fair, I'm actually, yeah, freaking Sturzi did the same thing earlier. So, uh, I think Lucci's like, I think that's fair game now. But, uh, yeah, right now we got two important battles up ahead with Zoro versus Lucci. And we got Luffy versus Kizuru. Ooh, I'm definitely excited. I mean, I'm trying to think about this. Luchi versus Zoro. I mean, I, I think it should... I think Zoro should heal himself. I don't know how this battle is going to go because I'm trying to think. I'm like, well, I mean, Zoro's pretty powerful right now. And I mean, not to say Luchi's weak or anything, but I mean... Uh, I mean, at this point, maybe Zora should be able to finish him or, you know, ha uh, like the bell for him to win in his favor, maybe. But it's just something I'm trying to think about. And then uh, with Kizuru versus Luffy, I mean, obviously one, Luffy has to go at Gear 5th. I mean, if he went through Gear 5th against Luchi, why wouldn't he go up against Kizuru? I mean... It's going to require him to do that. But is he strong enough? I don't know. I mean, if, if I'm being honest, out of all the admirals, or at least the current ones, I don't know, even current and past, I don't know why, but I've always had the impression that Kizuru was kind of just the weakest one. But, I mean, to be fair, he literally has the ability to turn to life. I mean, I, I don't know how to tell you this. Someone punching at the speed of light, that's a uh, that's pretty strong. So you, you, you can't freaking knock that down. But yeah, dude, can't wait to see this fight. Actually, I'm kind of curious uh, how long taking the barrier down. I mean, honestly, I could see this ending up in another way where literally they... They, you know, freaking knock down the barrier just as the right time. And then everyone's able to escape just at the nick of time. Or heck, maybe even Dr. Vegapunk has an alternate change of plans or something. We don't, we don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's at least how it's going. I mean, I'm trying to think what else. I don't think, it, well, would anyone else join in the fight against Kizuru? I mean... Lil probably would. Uh, Bonnie, because let me try to think about this right now. Because right now it's Luffy, Bonnie, Lucci. Uh, I think, uh, what was it? Yeah, Frankie's also there. So, I mean, it, it, I mean, unless if Luffy's like, nah, let me fight this on my own. Um, I probably think Frankie would probably join them. I mean, 
Mm, I, I don't know. Well, we'll see. I mean, they might join the battle. They might not. Who knows? Who will see? But, uh... Yeah, is there anything else I specifically want to talk about this chapter? Like, there's a lot of cool things moving around. I love the, you know, the how easily the pieces can move together to change the tide of the second phase of the war. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't really have anything else to discuss. It's cool. You know, Kijiro has that really intimidating panel and everything. Because even someone so... Lazy can have a threatening face if he wants to. You get me, bud. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's really it. Um, yeah, anything else I want to say? Uh, God, I it. Uh, I know there's some Gear 5 stuff with the anime coming out. And, oh, uh, God. I, I haven't watched the episodes yet, but I've seen clips online and... Oh my god, they look so good. Don't they look so good? I mean, if you disagree, I mean, you're, you're, you're just wrong. I mean, God, but either way, dude, man, Gear 5 is going to be so hype. Both in the anime and probably the manga in next chapter, next couple of, I don't know how many chapters it's going to be. But yeah, definitely going to be some exciting gear 5 stuff to head our way soon so yeah i guess i should end this video or whatever uh like comment subscribe whatever i mean it's up to you if you want but it's just my personal opinion or whatever i mean if you have that opinion you, you can but just you know only do it if you feel like. If you only feel like liking, you can like. If you only feel like subscribing, subscribe. I'm just, I just don't really care, okay? You know, I mean, it would be nice, but, you know, you know. You know. Um, I mean, I actually do got a uh, video plan to uh, talk in about the light action One Piece. Uh, should be coming out soon. I don't know. Probably like Monday or Tuesday. I think that's probably a good time for that stuff to come out. Because, uh, like, because I'm almost ready to talk about it. Because I've watched the whole thing. I'm letting it mellow out. I got a lot of thoughts. And some good, some bad. Did I like it? Or did I not like it? Well, you'll just have to find that out uh, whenever I do that video. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time when, uh, well... Kizuru moves on to his next opponent, Monkey D. Luffy. See you next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, dude, this was a pretty, pretty cool chapter. Yeah, I, I have to admit, yeah, I, I think this was pretty, pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, Bleach is getting pretty hyped, dude, man. I don't know if I really should get back into... Bleach. I, I gotta fucking talk about the anime somehow. It's uh, it's just been really hype. One Piece has really been hype, so Shonen's been pretty hype. I mean, I don't know about Boruto since I don't really follow it, but eh, eh, whatever, man. This man, this stuff is just getting hyper and hyper. Anime hypeness all the way. Um. And anything else specifically I want to talk about before uh, this video freaking ends? I just have no goddamn clue. Uh, I feel like I want to talk about something. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, dude, this guy just had to get my phone that I really, really want to talk about. I'm like, nah, nah. Not really. Not, not really. I mean, mm, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know why, but recently Dragon Ball's been on the mind. I mean, for me, Dragon Ball's always been on the mind, but I don't know. i just been really thinking about Dragon Ball recently. I mean, hey, that might lead me to talk, do a video talking about Dragon Ball, but eh. Who knows, who knows, who knows. I just, 
I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I just had Dragon Ball in the mind. I'm pro. I mean, honestly, I might after this recording just spend my time just rereading a bunch of Dragon Ball because I do genuinely like Dragon Ball, like pretty much the whole way through, even the Boo arc, which people say is the worst. And I mean, I mean maybe, maybe. I mean, I don't know if I would say it's the worst arc in the OG Dragon Ball. Oh my god, Dragon Balls are my Dragon Ball fans are definitely going to kill me by saying Majin Buu might not be the worst arc in OG Dragon Ball. Goddamn, yeah, yeah, you, you know how I kill a lot of Dragon Ball fans. Man, I'm just, yeah. But yeah, I do genuinely enjoy, you know, the whole series. Even Dragon Ball Super and GT, they do have their moments. And I feel like some people just will will just deny that. But they both have, I say, pretty good moments. Maybe not consistently the good way through. I mean, okay, I do actually legitimately really like a couple arcs almost the whole way through. But, uh... You know, let's just say that if, in case if I ever do, you know, talking about Dragon Ball arcs. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's really the end of the video. So, I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys next time or whatever. Yeah, it's just so weird where usually I walk at the back of the camera, press that, and buy. But now I have to do it here. Crazy, crazy, crazy world that we live in, buddy. Uh...